this is it. OpenAI just released their most powerful model yet, GPT-4 Omni. It's incredibly good. GPT-4 Omni surpasses GPT-4 Turbo and other proprietary models like Gemini Pro and Claude 3 Opus. But wait, that's not why the entire industry is in shock. The real reason is the introduction of a new real-time voice feature that can converse with you just like a human. When I first saw the demo, I was honestly scared by this. This thing truly seems to be approaching artificial general intelligence, AGI level capabilities. In this video, I'm going to break down everything about OpenAI's new model and voice assistant. So let's get into it. So what's the big deal about GPT-40? Let me tell you, it's all about making AI interactions as natural and human-like as possible. OpenAI has brilliantly combined text, vision, and audio into one powerful model. As a result, we have an ultra-fast, low-latency, emotive model that can understand and respond to your emotions. Believe me, it's magical, and I am not making things up. Look at these demos. Hey, I'm Alex. And I'm Miana. Hi, Alex and Miana. Nice to meet you both. How's it going? It's pretty cool. Uh, we're trying to figure out what should we play. Do you have any suggestions? Absolutely. How about a classic game of rock, paper, scissors? It's quick, fun, and you don't need any... Great. Can you count us in and sound like a spacecaster? And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate showdown of the century. In this corner, we have the dynamic duo, Alex and Miana, ready to throw down another Okay, just count us in. <laughs> All right, here we go. In three, two, one, shoot. Now show your hands. What did you pick? Who won? Would you look at that? It's a tie. Well, okay, let's do it again. Close. Round two, here we go. Get ready. And three, two, one, shoot. Let's, Let's see, see those hands. Who won? And, and it's, it's another, another tie. tie. Okay, you let's do it right. again. All right, third time's a charm. Here we go. Three, two, one, shoot. Let's see those picks. Who won? And we have a winner, Miana's scissors cut through Alex's paper. Great game, you two. Pretty cool, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How about you? How's cool. your day going? I'm uh, doing great. So I would like you to function as a translator. I have a friend here who only speaks Italian, and I only speak English. And uh, every time you hear English, I want you to translate it to Italian. And if you hear Italian, I want you to translate it back to English. Is that good? Perfetto. <laughs> Mark, io mi chiedo se le balene potessero parlare, cosa ci direbbero? Mike, she wonders if whales could talk, what would they tell us? Um, they might ask, uh, how do we solve linear equations? Potrebbero chiederci come risolviamo le equazioni lineari. <laughs> Sicuramente sì. <laughs> Certainly yes. <laughs> Great, it looks like it works. <laughs> it almost seems unbelievable to me. GPT-40 doesn't just talk, it listens, sees, and even senses emotions. In the demos, users could change instructions mid-talk, solve math problems visually and verbally, and even translate languages in real time. If you show this demo someone in 2014, they would definitely freak out, thought it's AG. Did you notice how expressive this is, and it can sing as well? If you've ever seen the movie Her, you'll know exactly why this is so exciting. OpenAI's goal is to create an AI assistant that's emotionally intelligent and seamlessly integrates into our daily lives. And GPT-40 is a huge step in that direction. Now let's talk specs. GPT-40 is not just smarter, it's faster and more affordable. It's 2x faster, 50% cheaper on the API, and the rate limits are 5x higher than before. And guess what? Free users now get GPT-4 level intelligence. First up, the MMLU benchmark. GPT-40 crushed other model with a monster score of 88.7. Like, are you kidding me? That's just insane. Showed all those other models who's boss. Then there's coding benchmarks like Human Eval where it scored 86.9, practically writing scripts better than most human developers out there. Kind of scary if you think about it. But get this. Even on crazy math problems on the math benchmark, GPT-40 just flexed with a 76.0 score. Solving differential equations and topology proofs like it was kindergarten edition. 
Look at that chart. GPT-4 is here, and every other model looks like a baby in comparison, especially considering how people used to say transformers were really bad at math. And look at what we've got now. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Look at this demo. It absolutely smashed the audio translation performance benchmarks too. I mean, it set a brand new state-of-the-art record on speech translation tasks, beating out the previous best models. We're talking outperforming juggernauts like Whisper V3 from OpenAI, Google's Gemini, and even Meta's top speech translation systems. GPT-4.0 just showed up and said, hold my beer, let me show y'all how it's done. On that MLS benchmark specifically for evaluating speech translation quality, GPT-4.0's scores were just ridiculous, putting every other model to shame with its ability to accurately translate audio across multiple languages. Training this thing on just massive datasets of transcribed audio from across the world. The results speak for themselves. GPT-4.0 is officially the new king of speech AI. In short, GPT-4.0 is pushing the boundaries of what AI can do. It's more natural, more interactive, and more human-like, bringing us a step closer yes. to that dream of it's seamless human-AI collaboration. Right so what do you think about GPT-4.0? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the latest in tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.